Shalom, shalom. We are Israel united in Christ, and we're here to teach the blacks, the so-called Hispanics and Native Americans, that you are the true Jews of Israel, the true nation and God's only nation that he chose about all the nations that are upon the earth. Hey. Give me the book of John, uh, chapter 8, verse 32. Got that for me? This is the book of John, chapter 8, and verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So read it here, one more time. No, one more time for me. John 8, 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. I uh, get the truth for me. The, the, the most high God said, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Right? Right? Read it one more time. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. All right. Hey, sis, you got a question? You got a question, sis? This is your first time hearing this. First time hearing any of this, right? Well, we just read the book of John chapter. And first of all, sis, what's your name? Alma. Alma? Alma. Alma. I'm Nehemiah. Okay. Alma. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, first we're going to start off with this. Do you know the true color of Christ? Or I'm going to ask you this. What color does the world... Um, teaches that the color Christ is white. I can't hear you say it again white 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 do you believe that no you don't all right well we're going to prove it because that's actually absolutely, absolutely true give me Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1 Read. this is the book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1 the revelation the revealing sis if I if we sit here saying that we're going to reveal something what does that mean we're going to tell the truth. We're going to show, right? So we're going to read it again. Read it again from the top. The revelation of, of Jesus Christ. Of who? Of Jesus Christ. So after we read this, there should be no confusion after this, right? Because we believe this is the say of the Lord, right? The Holy Bible, which is God's words, right? All right, read. Go down. Go to verse 14. Same book. Different verse. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. But you said the world is teaching that Christ is white, right? We're about to show you there's a contradiction. Not here, but we've been told lies. Read. His head. His what? His head. Uh -huh. And his hair. And his hair. Were white like wool. So he started off, the most High God started with this revealing of Christ. It started with the color and the texture of his hair. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, the white Christ that they have us to believe that is Jesus Christ. Does he have white woolly hair? Look at this picture right here. Look at this picture. This is what we know as Jesus, right? Right? But does he have white woolly hair? Somebody lie. Keep reading. As white as snow. As white as what? As white as snow. Read. And his eyes. And his what? And his eyes uh -huh. were the flame oh. of fire. Get that in Genesis 49 for me. Right? So, do you remember what Christ's first miracle was? Right? I'm going to help you. He turned water into wine. Right? Now, when we drink it, what happened to the whites of our eyes? They turn red. But if we read Revelation, he said his eyes was red like a like fire, right? No, not 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 no fantasy, no no Marvel uh, superhero type stuff, or you know the comic book stuff. No, Christ drank wine. You got that? Yes, sir. Read the book of Genesis, chapter forty-nine and verse twelve. Read. His eyes shall be red with wine. Red with what? With wine. Since what you go, what you gonna find out is that we prove everything out of the scriptures, right? right? This is our power. This is our foundation, and this is what this is life, right? This is death. This is life, right? Go back to Revelation 14. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool, read. as white as snow. Read. And his eyes uh -huh. were the flame of fire. Read. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. And his what? And his feet. Now, sis, if you took your shoes off right now, they would be the same color brown as your body, right? You won't be walking around with purple feet right. and, your, and your, your top is brown. They might be a lighter brown because they don't receive as much sun as the rest of your body, right? So we talk about Christ's feet. So we get the color of Christ's feet. It's going to tell you what the color of his whole body is, right? Great. And his feet uh -huh. like a defined brass. Now, what color is brass, sis? Brown. brown. So what is this? Where did this come from? Exactly. Where did this come from, brother? Where did this come from? Read. How brown was it? As if they burned in a furnace. Now, how do we signify something's been burnt? How do you, how do you tell something's been burnt? What does it look like? Burnt. It, it's, say it again? Black. So Christ was a 
very dark skinned black man. So where did this come from? Where did that come from? But we follow everything that's associated with this bad boy right here, right? Now if we have proven that this is a lie, then the other question you should ask yourself is, what else am I living is a lie? What else have I been, uh, that's been passed down generation to generation? That's lies. We never ask the origin of things, we just follow. So we know Christ is a what? A black man, you know right? Right. He's not this right here, but this is what we were given in the, under these conditions right here. When we came off them ships, we did not speak that language. The language we was given was by the oppressor, right? Which also who gave us this right here. You understand what I'm saying? What else? Uh, give me a... Uh... No, nah, I want to I wanna show her um, what other lies that we follow that's... Un what else do you think? What else do you... Oh, I got it all. Uh -huh. All right, bro. He said, he said, he said Christmas. Right, Christmas. Give me that. What else, bro? What else they gave us? Eat some what else? I can't hear you. Everything else. If you go down to March, January, New Year, February, Valentine's Day, March. Uh, there you go. What you say? There is only one New Year. You right? Saint Patrick's Day. What's next? Memorial Day. Fourth of July. All heathen customs that was been given that's been under under the banner under the banner of this false Christ right here, which is the image of the beast. Give me Jeremiah 10. You got that for me. Hey brother, you listen to me, because you said Christmas, right? Right, check this out. That's in the Bible. Check this out. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10 and verse 2. Read. Thus saith the Lord. Read from verse 1. Verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. He's only speaking to the twelve tribes of Israel. That's the blacks, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. The Most High God is telling us to learn not the ways of the heathen. And as we read down, he's going to give us certain uh, custom and traditions that was given or brought by the heathen. Read. And be not dismayed uh -huh. at the signs of heaven. Be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Read. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Uh -huh. That's the stars. That's your astrology. Read. For the customs of the people are vain. The customs of the people are vain. My brother, do you know what vain mean? Vain? V-A-I-N? I can't hear him. I can't hear you. I'm not being disrespectful. I can't hear you. Lies. Vain means lies. Read it again. For the customs of the people are vain. So the custom of these heathen that the Most High God is warning us not to be overcame with or to follow are vain. Read. For one cut up the tree. Time out. Go back to verse. Was that verse two? Go back to verse two real quick. This is made at the, uh, at the stars. Read. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, uh -huh. and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Now I know you know what horoscopes and what's the thing it's called? Zodiac signs. Astrology. Astrology. You heard of that right bro? I'm, I'm a Virgo. I'm a Capricorn. I'm a Gemini. You know what I'm saying? That right there is all devil worship. That's all heathen customs that we find our people partaking in that don't belong to us. Right? We are here to give you your customs that you're supposed to be honoring and serving thus saith the Lord. Keep reading. Verse 3. Verse 3. Uh -huh. For the customs of the people are vain. They're vain. Read. For one cut up the tree out of the forest. They do what? One cut up the tree out of the forest. Now remember the Most High God has given us these vain customs that we follow or warned us not to follow because he knew that they was coming. Read. For one cut up the tree out of the forest. Read. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Uh -huh. They deck it. Stop. Now what custom do we follow today as a nation, as a whole? He wrote his window up. Here you come. I think you're going to come out and speak with the prophets. All, All praises. praises. Hold on. Read it again. For the customs of the people are vain. Uh -huh. For one cut of the tree out of the forest. Uh -huh. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Stop, stop right there, bro. We're talking about, you, you brought up Christmas, right? What's your name? Brother Lorenzo. Brother Lorenzo, of, of Brother Nehemiah. All right, 
Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. My brother, my brother said, he said Christmas. He said it boldly too. And this is what we're reading about right here in the scriptures. Read it again. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cut up the tree out of the forest. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. All right, what custom do we partake in this day that re requires a tree being cut down? Or a tree, the, uh, the utilization of a tree. Christmas. But if you read verse, was it verse 2? Yes, sir. The verse, no, keep, oh, uh, yeah, read verse 2. The book of Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 2. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord, uh -huh. learn not the way of the heathen. It, the most high God said, learn not the way of the heathen. So the yeah. brother said, Christmas. Go jump back to 4. Yeah, jump to 4. Jeremiah verse, chapter 10 and verse 4. They deck it with silver and with gold. Hey, hey, hey brother Lorenzo, you, you Lorenzo, right? Yes, sir. Lorenzo, yes, sir. making sure I got you, brother Lorenzo. Read it again. Watch this. They deck it with silver and with gold. What do we put on Christmas trees today? They even got a song about it. I don't, I don't participate in it. But I understand. Yeah. But you see it because it's everywhere. Yeah. I, ride, I, ride, I got you. I ride through my neighborhood. I ride through my neighborhood all day long. I mean, back and forth to work. And I can't help but see it. You understand what I'm saying? So this custom is not to be, this custom is pagan. And, uh, and we're not supposed to partake in these things. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.